103 is coming at you from Vegas, baby, for the Mayweather fight. We're taking you inside the action with Big Tigger and V103 sports anchor Rob Calloway. Live on the People Station, V103. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The moment happening tomorrow, Showtime pay-per-view, 9 p.m., Mayweather Maidana. Uh, the moment has been happening basically all week. Lots of back and forth between uh, Floyd Money Mayweather and his estranged or ex fiance I got a call late last night. Did you? Yeah. How did that call go? Uh, Ring! Tig, I got some things I need to get off my chest. would like to sit down and conduct an interview with you. Wow. But of, but of course, Mr. Mayweather. And I just, we just got a big time tweet right just there. Just tweeted it. So, good afternoon, Mr. Mayweather. Let's, I'm going to play you excerpts. It was about a 30, 40 minute conversation. Uh, you're going to hear the majority of it here. I invite you all to tune in and turn up at watchv103.com or go to v-103.com to listen to it in its entirety later on if you miss any part of it. Uh, basically, this is how the conversation began with Floyd uh, Mayweather. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm sitting here with uh, Pound for Pound, greatest boxer uh, probably of all time, Mr. Floyd Mayweather Jr. How are you, sir? Hey, how you doing, Tiggy? So... This Saturday, May 3rd, the moment is happening at the MGM Grand. You're taking on my dine on pay-per-view. First and foremost, are you ready? Um, I'm ready. Okay. You know, I had a tremendous training camp. The main thing is I had um, a good training camp, mm. you know, mentally and physically. Um, I'm ready, so now it's time to go out there and do what I do best. You, you've been undefeated forever, <laughs> 45 and 0. Do you ever get to a point of uh, nervousness or you are just extra careful? How, how do you feel? What is your mental approach when you get ready to go towards a, a big fight like this one? Um, a lot of times, you know, I go out there and um, I fight in certain fights. And, um, you know, I make, you know, A-level and B-level fighters sometimes look like C and D-level fighters, which, you know, and I don't get the, you know, the credit that I'm just due. You know what I'm saying? I think that um, years down the line, mm. you know, when my career is over, you know, I would be more respected because, you know, boxing is an art and um, I'm just blessed. You know, um, I'm just dedicated to my craft and I always try to go out there and perform because, you know, uh, f- of course, it's self-preservation. I come first, but I always want to please the fans. And some there's it's been times where I, I have went out there and I dominated so much that the fans wasn't pleased, you know. But I think it's like an up and down thing, whereas if um, I took a lot of punishment and I was fighting toe to toe early on in my career, I wouldn't have lasted this long. Mm. So it's obvious I've been doing something right thus far to be where I'm at today. Assuming that you're 46-0 on Sunday, <laughs> which was what we always assume when you touch the ring, how many more fights does Floyd uh, Mayweather have? You know, 40, 37, about to be 38? Yes, I, you know, I don't want to overlook this guy, you know, because mm. he's a solid competitor. And there's one thing you, you cannot do. Mm. You cannot never overlook a guy. Because um, anything can happen in the sport of boxing, you know. My thing is just, um, you know, taking my time, just keeping my composure and taking one fight at a time. You know, under my contract, I still have um, three more fights, which is with uh, Showtime and CBS. As of right now, it's the biggest deal in sports history, but I, I truly believe that the record will be broken someday because, you know, records are made to be broken and, and athletes are getting bigger, better, and stronger. Uh, much is made of the uh, money part of the Floyd, money, Mayweather, and the money team, and money. What's the difference between Floyd and money, or is there a difference? Um, I think in the entertainment world, of course, my entertainment name is, you know, money, Floyd, money, Mayweather. You know, there are a lot of different AKAs, mm. but Floyd Mayweather is a person that truly, truly loves his family. Family is always first. Um, lo- love my team, only want the best for him. A person that, um, you know, has given back to the American citizens have gave back to the people in America that's less fortunate. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's Floyd Mayweather, whereas Money Mayweather is out there to entertain and be flash and be flamboyant. And, um, but like I said before, you got you, you have to know when to turn it on and when to turn it off. Right. So as we prepare for your 46 fight, um, you seem to be going through a personal moment, if you will, in your own personal life. A uh, story came out basically proclaiming you and your ex-fiance had separated. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of going back and forth. Tell me where you are with the situation. This is basically your opportunity to tell all of America your point of view and perspective on the situation. Hear what he has to say right after this song when my exclusive interview with Floyd Money Mayweather continues on the People Station V-103. Don't go nowhere. Oh, no. 
103 is coming at you from Vegas, baby, for the Mayweather fight. We're taking you inside the action with Big Tigger and V103 sports anchor Rob Calloway. Live on the People Station, V103. Yes, indeed. Big Tig, Rob Calloway. The moment tomorrow, 9 p.m., Saturday, May 3rd. Mayweather, Maidana. Awesome undercard, I might add, Mr. Calloway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So um, we're currently um, playing some excerpts from a conversation I sat down and had with Floyd Money Mayweather last night. He said he had some things to get off his chest. He wanted the world to hear his side. The untold story, as he tweeted. Uh, so let's continue with part two of my conversation with Floyd Mayweather. So as we prepare for your 46 fight, um, you seem to be going through a personal moment, if you will, in your own personal life. A uh, story came out basically proclaiming you and your ex fiance had separated. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of going back and forth. Tell me where you are with the situation. This is basically your opportunity to tell all of America your point of view and perspective on the situation. You know, I think that a lot has been said, and I think the, it's the best way is to leave it where it's at, you know, because I don't want something like this to continue to, to, to be negative. From the beginning, my whole outlook on everything was I think that your, your private life should be private. And you know things happen, and and you know you live and you learn, and you just you 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 just you just learn from the things that you go through. There are going to be people who criticize uh, your decision to put certain aspects of what you consider to be the reason you separated out there in the public, and now you're saying that things should be private. Well, in the beginning, I've always, you know, if I do have a woman that's my better half, I always let them know, you know, what we do is private. Right. But sometimes, I guess, you know, people like to go public with certain things. And sometimes you can react, you know, you find out different things about, you know, well, you know, at first I received uh, basically basically some information right. that was false. And then I went on TV and I spoke. Right. But then um, when I spoke about the situation, I, I thought about, I said, you know what, let me put the picture out on, on all access. Mm -hmm. But then the people from Showtime said, that's not a good idea. Right. And I asked the people why not, because they said, Floyd, this is not a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. this, is an, this is an abortion. Mm. So I never knew that. And to whereas you may have a better half, and sometimes they like this. All they worry about is looks. Right. All they worry about is putting people down, and worry about materialistic things, and all they worry about is money and fame. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, me myself, I think that the money is important. Uh, but I believe in helping the people around me become successful. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes people forget you know where they come from. Okay. You know, you can you can meet a person, and um, they can be in a very very bad you know, predicament. Mm -hmm. You help them, help their families for almost 10 years. Because I think that basically I was, in, I was in love with somebody that I didn't know. To whereas when a person was with me, you never seen no back shots. You never seen them gyrating, right. you know, in restaurants and different things like that. And it's just like a desperation for fame. Mm -hmm. Because when you no longer have income, people sometimes will do anything they, they, they can mm -hmm. to get income. Because it's very expensive out there in L.A. You know, she basically sold, sold her Bentley. She sold her Bentley. She, she, she sold her Bentley, had got money. And had got, she had sold two cars mm. and traded in for one and got, you know, like $80,000. Right. And um, I was upset with her about a lot of things to where she, um, she was with Floyd Mayweather and left her mother in a very, very bad area. Mm. Her mom still lives in a, a very, very bad area. Mm. But, um, of course, I'm a good guy, so what I did was I at least put a gate around her mother's house, right. put a new roof on her, on her mother's home, put furniture in her mother's home, and make sure that her mother's bills was paid. Um, so right now, the money that she pays her mother's bills with every month still, still came from me. Right. And, you know, it's more like, um, I don't, it, it's more like this. Me, I'm going to respect everybody and show love to everybody, rich or poor. I just feel like everybody should be tr treated fair to where as... They feel like if a person can help them or they can benefit from the situation, right. then that's when they're going to be nice to people. And I, I don't feel that's right. So basically, I was in love with a person that I didn't know. Mm. I just basically spoke on a situation about I had a house. I had them living in a very a gated community out here in Las Vegas. Mm. Um, a Bentley, nice truck. And then, um, you know, you sometimes you have to tell people no. They wanted a new truck. And I said, not right now because, you know, we're not seeing eye to eye. And um, it's just like a, just like a child. You cannot reward a child for bad behavior. Mm. So you know, you know, sometimes I I can say no. Mm. So then I said no, and I said, you know, 
our relationship need to be based upon real love. Do I, I mean, do I feel like she really loved me? You'll hear that answer when we come back. More of my conversation. You're killing them with, with the cliffhangers, T. Money Mayweather. V103 is coming at you from Vegas, baby, for the Mayweather fight. We're taking you inside the action with Big Tigger and V103 sports anchor Rob Calloway. Live on the People Station, V103. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment happens tomorrow, Saturday, May 3rd, 9 p.m. Showtime pay per view. Mayweather versus My Donna. Seems like the bigger fight's been outside the ring. Yes, sir. This week. <laughs> um, I've been privileged enough to be. Um, uh, I got a call saying, yo, I want to get some things off my chest. I want to tell my side of the story. I'm going to tell it once, and I want to tell it to you. So last night I got up That's awesome, and went to talk to uh, Floyd Money Mayweather. Um, you've been listening to our conversation all hour long right here on V103. Uh, uh, I mean, encourage you to tune in and turn up to v-103.com. If you miss any part of it, it'll be posted later today at v-103.com. But we left off uh, with our last clip with me asking him, uh, do you know? Did he feel like she was ever really in love with him? And here's what Floyd Money Mayweather had to say: Do I feel like she really loved me after everything that I've been going through? I don't know. I can't really say. So what? What I'm gathering from from your side of the story and what you're telling me is, you feel basically betrayed. Like you you went out of your way to do what you had to do for the person that you loved. Yeah, my better half, and I loved her, and I feel like with any situation. Mm -hmm. You handle situation with communications, with communicating, because mm -hmm. we are adults. It's more like I feel like in the beginning, if we was compromising and you was listening to me, I mean, you didn't just wake up and get all those followers on Instagram. <laughs> right. you, you didn't just wake up and get all those followers right. on Twitter. Right. I mean, come on. I mean, let's let's be real. But mm -hmm. um, I'm human. Mm -hmm. I can do things that's not right, and I I reacted off emotions because I was upset that. Um, I said, you know, I want the world to know that she really had a miscarriage, so I wanted to put the picture on All Access. Right. Right, but All Access, I had already done the interview. And then after All Access went off, um, somebody from Showtime had got in touch with me and said, Floyd, I'm glad that you didn't put that picture out there because she didn't have a miscarriage. She had an abortion. So are you... So she, so she but I feel bad because she was telling me the whole time that, basically, she, she telling me that stress from me made her have a miscarriage wow. when... All in all, she went and got an abortion, and it hurt my feelings. All because she's selfish, because all she worried about is looks, talking about, I don't want to mess my body up. So and that I'm, was the reason that she gave, that she didn't want to mess the body up? Yes. That was the only reason? I mean, that's one of the, that's one of the reasons. Okay. So let me ask this, because, again, the, the back and forth on social media um, has made an invincible boxer look vulnerable as a person. Um, there are people who said, Floyd looks like his feelings are hurt. I, I mean, and... Well, yes, my feelings... I hurt mm -hmm. because I feel like it's selfish. It's selfish to only think about yourself. You know, I think when two people are laying down unprotected, we know what we we know what we getting ourselves into. Mm -hmm. To whereas her thing is, um, I don't want to mess up my body. I don't want to mess up my body, and I'm more like, we everything that you got on your body, we pay. I pay for. It. So it's okay, even if you had the baby, even if you had the babies. Well, if you wanted me to. You know, to, to put you back together like I did in the beginning, I could I could have I could have done it again. And um, I'm more like, let's compromise, let's communicate, let's be on the same page, mm -hmm. let's be respectful to one another. Because I'm more like, everything I did for you, I did out the kindness of my heart, mm -hmm. not for your looks. But the main thing is, you know, every time we get to talking, well, this girl don't look better than me, that girl don't look better than me, uh, that girl has a, a a fake booty. Look at that girl with the fake breasts. But I'm more like, everything that you got on you is fake. You know, you got fake butt, you got fake teeth. I mean, you got work done on your face. Mm -hmm. So it's more like you're talking about everybody, but you're doing the, you're doing the same thing. That's why that's that's how you know my love was genuine. I love you from the heart because I accepted you for how you look. No, no breasts, mm -hmm. no butt, no face work. I accepted you because it was real love mm -hmm. and pure love. To so whereas I bend over backwards, you know, to try to help help her build her brand, build her name. You know, help her try to get a clothing line out there. Right. Because if it's your better half and she's your queen, if I'm a king and she's your queen, you got to uplift her and help and help her. And I'm more like, and then I told her about, you know, I always tell her, you always got to carry yourself in an orderly fashion, in an orderly, in an orderly conduct. Mm -hmm. You were just with me not too long ago, 
sexually. Right. He was with me sexually not too long ago. Then you out courtside, you know, with another guy. Whether you guys are having sex or not, that's still a bad look. Forgive me. Have some respect and some dignity, some dignity for yourself. Be a lady first. Right. You know, before there was a girl named Jackie mm -hmm. that was from um, Miami. Mm -hmm. And um, they was very, very, very close, close yeah. friends. Jackie used to hang out with us, stay at, stay at our house in Miami. Mm -hmm. And she's always talk about her and Nelly. And she always talk about their relationship. She talk about everything about her and Nelly. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never had, I never had anything, you know, bad to say about anyone, you know. I just know that the girl Jackie was pouring her heart, her heart out to Miss Jackson about her relationship with Nelly and the things that she's been through. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, Miss Jackson, has came around, you know, come around me and was like, uh, you know, he's a. Uh, it, it was a lot of negative things right. she has said about him. Find out exactly what those things are, she said about Nelly when we get back. Wow. Big Tig, Rob Calloway, I'm we speechless. are live in MGM Grand. This is, I'm, hey, I've never seen him so candid, and he said his feelings are hurt. He spent a lot of money. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Moment. Humpty Dumpty style. <laughs> we live from the MGM Grand. I'm back with uh, Rob Calloway live from Vegas in a minute on V103. V103 is coming at you from Vegas, baby, for the Mayweather fight. We're taking you inside the action with Big Tigger and V103 sports anchor Rob Calloway. Live on the People Station, V103. Big Tig, Rob Calloway, the moment tomorrow, 9 p.m. Right here in the MGM Grand. <laughs> oh, the moment is now. <laughs> the moment, if you're just tuning in to V103. The moment been happening hey, all hour. All hour. The Floyd Mayweather takeover. Uh, there's a fight happening tomorrow, but there's a, a behind-the-scenes fight that's been happening in Floyd's personal life. Yes. Um, I was privileged enough to get an opportunity to interview Floyd. Um, if you've missed any part of this conversation, make sure you hit up v-103.com later on today. You will be able to hear the interview in its entirety. Um, so if you're just tuning in as well, uh, I left off asking. He was telling me uh, about some young lady who apparently confided in Miss Jackson. Uh, about some things about her relationship with Nelly, right? And uh, he allegedly saying some not so nice things about Nelly, and uh, Mayweather's about to tell us some of those not so nice things that Shorty had to say about Nelly. Let's listen. But you know, she's like, he's on steroids. He's broke. He, he has no more. He has no money. Wow. And then um, she's like, yeah, he borrowed a lot of money from Ashanti, over a half a million dollars from Ashanti, and I used to always say. Basically, that's my that's not my business. You know, anything can happen in life. Mm -hmm. You can be here today, you can be at the top today and be at the bottom tomorrow. So I don't have anything, uh, you know, negative mm -hmm. to say about him. You know, uh, like I said before, um, I can remember early on in in 2000. You know, he had that you know that that big album. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it was Country Grammar, mm -hmm. and you know I was proud of him. Right. You know, what I'm saying as a, as a black man, I'm proud of him. Right. And you know, even if he has if he has you know, problems, I can care less. I wish him nothing but the best. Mm -hmm. I want him to continue to go out there and make music. I want him to continue to go out there and, and and try to be the best that he can be. Because I've seen him at my fights. I've seen him supporting me. And even though he has said some negative things about me as far as, you know, that um, um I hung out with this, this girl that Floyd know, or I hung out with that girl that Floyd know, I'm not going to do the same. So I'm not I'm not mad about any relationship. Or, or them hanging out mm. and she liked to come and tell me well it's all for publicity right i gotta do what's best for me so i gotta do what's best for me i'm using it as um a stepping stone so i can get a reality show started and it, it was just um i was in my house i want to say i don't know just before training camp right or at the beginning of training camp and we was together mm. sexually so now she's at a point to where She'd do anything for fame. She'd do she like like remember her her bio on her Instagram page used to say, you know, inspiring actress, model. Now to say, uh, I'm living my life. Mm. And just look at the videos and, and and look at all the stuff that she post. A very, very candid mm -hmm. conversation with Floyd Money Mayweather happening right here. I, I literally sitting across from him like I can't believe I'm talking. This look, is man, money. Look after he money after team. He, after he buried his soul to you, I just hope I, I just hope you gave that brother a hug. I, <laughs> Did you give? Him a, please tell me you gave him a hug. I gave him that like brothers do. Like son, 
But he squeezed you kind of tight, though, dude. I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> Rob Calloway showing off, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me get you out of this ATL traffic. I promise you, immediately after this commercial break, I will play you the very last part of my conversation with Floyd Money Mayweather. You do not want to miss what is uh, said in this last part of this uh, conversation, this very exclusive Nowhere Else on the Planet conversation. Big Tick doing big things in MGM Grand. B-103 is coming at you from Vegas, baby, for the Mayweather fight. We're taking you inside the action with Big Tigger and V-103 sports anchor Rob Calloway. Live on the People Station, V-103. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, wrapping up an epic hour out from MGM. The moment happens tomorrow. Mayweather, my Donna, Saturday, May 3rd, going down, Showtime pay-per-view. Uh, great lineup of fights. Yes. We got uh, Amir Khan versus... Uh, Palazzo. Yes, sir. Adrian Brown in action. Uh, versus my man, uh, uh, Malia. Mal- Malino. Malina. Yep. Malino. It's going to be an awesome undercard to go with the main attraction. Uh, right now, the main attraction happening right here on V103. Uh, Had a chance to sit down and talk to Floyd Money Mayweather. Yes, this is a, a very compelling interview here today. Thank you, sir. I just, you know, tried to get the most honest and most candid conversation from him, and I believe that's what we have achieved here. So, this is my, my last piece of the interview uh, which we cover a wide you know variety of topics including the fight tomorrow yes. that he's having yes um so let's uh listen to this last conversation last part of the conversation with floyd mayweather this is a two-part question are you past the point of reconciliation is it a wrap is it done and do you feel any animosity towards uh moving forward you know i'm going to be the bigger person mm. i'm going to say i apologize about you know things I've done in the past that I shouldn't have done okay. because I'm not perfect and um, I know I've been there for her mm-hmm. as a friend not just um, a fiance but as a friend mm-hmm. and um, I know my good outweighs my bad and, and the thing is this a lot of a lot of pretty women are very insecure mm-hmm. because if you if you feel like you were just a naturally beautiful woman don't mess with your nose don't mess with your cheeks mm-hmm. don't mess with your chin don't mess with your your breast. Mm. Don't don't you know? Don't mess with your ass. Mm-hmm. But even if she did want to do that, right? Even if she did want to do that, I love you from the beginning. No matter how your face look, how your breast look, or how your butt look, everybody's entitled to do what they want to do. But just don't criticize and talk about other people doing it when everything on on you, everything on you is work. Mm. So and it's more like she sit, you know, she sat around and she sat around and. She talked bad about Nelly. Now you sitting courtside with him. You called him every name in the book, mm. and now you sitting courtside with him. Mm. And I think, I think uh, Nelly is, is um, you know, with the with the country grammar, he hit him big. Mm. You know, he hit him. He, you know, he he hit him big. Even though you know music has total totally changed with this era. Now it's all about Lil Wayne, Drake, mm. um, Rick Ross. And you know, and the, and, the, and, the, and the list goes on and on with the, with the new era rappers. Um, but like I said before, I wish Nelly nothing but the best. Mm-hmm. You know, I think he's uh, like I said before, he's he's a remarkable artist. You know, to to do that country grammar and sell all those albums. Right. Nobody is perfect, so I can't I can't judge him. Right. You know, I can't judge him. Only God can judge us. You have any advice for him in moving forward with Miss Jackson? Um. I mean, I don't want to say anything. You know, everybody handles situations in a different way. They handle it. They handle it. You know how they want to handle it. Mm-hmm. You just got to know when you're getting with Miss Jackson, you cannot be cheap because she's accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know, she's accustomed to a certain lifestyle because she was dealing with Floyd Money Mayweather. So she's accustomed to a certain lifestyle. She she's gonna she's gonna want a lot. She's gonna want a lot. But as of right now, it hurts my feelings that she'll do anything for fame. Mm. And, I, and I feel like that's degrading yourself. Be, I want her to be very, very, very careful. But with all that said and done, I cannot say I don't love her. Because if I say I don't love her, then that means it wasn't real from the beginning. Right. I love the person I thought I knew. Mm. Um, I love her mother. You know, I love her family, you know, I mean, for her, her, her siblings, I love her brothers, I love her sisters. And um, like I said before, 
when you when you get with a guy like Floyd Mayweather, mm -hmm. take advantage. <laughs> take advantage of the situation. Right. I mean, it's just being smart. There's no way that your mother should still be living in a, in a, in a very, very dangerous neighborhood, in a very, very bad area. Mm. There's no way that your mother, uh, you should be around here sitting courtside and and I and I've been and I stressed this to her a long time ago mm -hmm. about success. Like, focus on your clothing line. Focus on uh, writing writing a book. Mm -hmm. Focus on getting a magazine. You know, be a, a successful woman. Because, like I always say, you got a lot of famous people that walk the red carpet with a million dollar face, but nothing in their bank accounts. Mm -hmm. To where you have successful people. That's never walked the red carpet, but can walk in any bank. Mm. So it, I mean, I'm being honest. Mm. And just with the baby thing, I was just, I was truly, truly hurt. Mm. Truly hurt. So let me ask you this: boxing, heading in the ring against somebody very dangerous on Saturday. Yes. Clearly, it's affected Floyd the the person. Has it affected Floyd the boxer? Would this have any? Uh, <laughs> will this have any uh, bad effects on you? Will this, if, if if it should not go the way that it's supposed to go, will, will this be an excuse? People want to want to be able to paint all kind of pictures because when you when, yes. when you're perfect, uh, well, like I said before, <laughs> nobody's perfect. I strive, you know, we strive for perfection every day. Nobody's perfect, and um, I was joking out today. I say God only made one thing in this world that's perfect, and that's my boxing record. And I, you know, I, just, I, I, I always joke I always joke at the boxing gym with the other fighters I always say that you know um, but um you know with that all said and done you know I can't you know like I said before um, I can't say how the fights gonna play out but I'm gonna go out there and be at my best right uh, like always um, listen to listen to the instructions that my father delivers to me and I got to go out there and do what I do best and that's the fight. We will see you tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. 9 p.m. pay-per-view show time. Wow. That was uh that was deep. That entire interview. Greg Street needs to rerun that. <laughs> hey, Greg, do what you do. In its entirety. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just out here at the MGM Grand just trying to get in where I fit hey, in. You're doing Thank a great you. job, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Mayweather Mike Donna tomorrow at 9 p.m. Turn up is real. Let's get in it on V103.